Obviously, perception is not the only part of Louisiana's $2.4 billion seafood industry tarnished by the BP oil disaster. Businesses are also suffering. Toby Blanchard speaks with the owner of a crab processing facility who is feeling the pinch. Crates of crabs sit on the bustling dock of Pontchartrain Blues, a crab processing facility on the shores of Lake Pontchartrain. Last month, crabs were just trickling in, but owner Gary Bauer was determined to stay open to keep his customers supplied and his labor working. If I closed my doors, those people would have left, and then when they reopened the waters, I wouldn't have anybody available to do the processing. Some waters that were closed because of the oil spill have recently reopened to commercial crabbing. But not before Bauer started purchasing crabs from North Carolina to keep his business afloat. The long-distance haul severely cut into his profits. This scenario is playing out at docks across the region. Some haven't been as lucky as Bauer and have had to close because of lack of product. Bauer says his business is down 70 to 80 percent of what it normally is this time of the year. And recovery money is yet to put a dent in damages. Thus far, the claims against BP for the docks and the processors have been woefully less than what they actually, uh, the actual losses that they incurred. With additional waters open, more local seafood is available. But processors and fishermen are still up against a negative public perception of seafood from the Gulf region. Experts say rigorous testing has shown the oil spill has had little effect on seafood. In the seafood samples in all open and closed waters where they've harvested these to test, they have not found any contaminants. Local crabs are starting to come in at Pontchartrain Blues. And despite the challenges and hardships the oil spill caused, Bauer remains optimistic. We're going to come out of this just like we came out of Katrina. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. The Food and Drug Administration and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are looking at opening additional state waters around Chandelier Island to commercial fishing.